next up is Leanna Keith. A freelance flautist, artist, improviser, and composer in the Seattle area, Leanna Keith delights in creating sound experiences that make audiences laugh, cry, and say, I didn't know the flute could do that. She is dedicated to playing music by composers who are still living here, here, and advocates for the usage of music as social activism. Leanna is the professor of flute at Cornish College of the Arts. She has joined us in the past for original music inspired by Shin Yi Pai's Verga. You should buy it. City of Orange, Crying in H Mart, and Heart Radical, Leanna Keith. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, my mic is on. That's great. Uh, for those of you who are watching at home and might need a visual description, um, I am a approximately 5'8", Asian, ethnically ambiguous 30-something with blue mullet now. We're going back to the 80s. Um, wearing a bright yellow jumpsuit covered in dots and lines that make me think very much of a very enthusiastic upside-down exclamation mark. Um, and a jade necklace, which my mother tells me is a bat, which makes me question what bats look like in China. Um, so, <laughs> uh, before I get into the piece, um, the first thing I want to say is that I'm playing an instrument today that I don't normally play in this particular sort of setup. I normally play the Western classical um, orchestral flute of some kind. I have the regular ones, but I also have the, the lower ones. I have the altos and the basses and the piccolos, and I have all the things, the different orchestral flutes. Um, but there was something about this book where reading it and feeling this um, unique relationship between the, the spirituality of like being in touch with nature that I realized that I had to play this flute. So I'm going to tell you what it is because probably most people in this uh, don't really know what it is. So this is a shinobue. Um, it comes from Japan. Um, it was given to me by my shinobue teacher, Kaoru Watanabe, um, whom you might be familiar with his work because he wrote the soundtrack for Isle of Dogs by Wes Anderson. <laughs> yes, that guy. <laughs> um, he sent me this flute. And this flute was... Um, made by a man named Ranjo who lives on an island in Japan. And he very specifically makes these shinobue in a very particular manner, mostly because he only picks bamboo which have been bent by the wind. So if the bamboo has been bent by the wind, he chooses it to become a flute. So I don't know if you can see that like arc there, but it is quite bent. Um, not all Shinobue are this way. This is his relationship with his artistry and his craftsmanship. And the idea here is that the wind has blown the bamboo, and now I will blow the wind back into it, and together we will create something. Um, so that's kind of where I started with this piece. I kind of went, well, I, this flute is the one that's going to speak to me for this one. So it took me on a very different journey than I typically have <laughs> when making pieces for Bushwick Book Club. Um, and then the only other thing that I want to mention is that in particular there was a passage in this book that really struck me where I'm not going to do the exact wording. I actually pulled it up and then I went, oh, I'm not going to read it out loud. I can't read like poets can read. Um, <laughs> I'm not a lyrics person, you'll find out. Um, but the idea of different types of water meeting and becoming bigger and bigger and more one as it went um, until eventually it is essentially this unstoppable thing. And so that is where we start today.
Leanna Keith. Yes. It don't matter 